welcome to NSK TV. It's time for yoga storytelling with me, Anna, and my yogi buddy, Lenny. Now, Lenny loves to make new friends and take them on yoga adventures. So we're really excited that you're going to be joining us today. Now, don't worry if you don't have a mat. All you need is a space on the floor and your imagination. So, if you're ready, let's get started. So, Lenny starts his day like every other day, just like me and you, asleep in his bed. So, let's go to sleep everybody. Good night. Sweet dreams. Cock a doodle doo. Good morning. All right, everybody, let's take a nice big stretch and let's sit up nice and gently. Okay, so first of all, let's say good morning to our toes. <laughs> good morning, toes. Let's give them a little wave. <laughs> Maybe you could even give them a little tickle. <laughs> and let's say good morning to our legs. Good morning, legs. And to our knees. Let's give them a little cuddle, shall we? Good morning, knees. Maybe you might even like to have a little bop back on your bottom. <laughs> good job, guys. Okay, so let's say good morning to the sky. Good morning sky. And over here we have the sun. Good morning sun. And over this side we've got a few clouds in the sky. Good morning clouds. And flying way up high above us it's the birds. Good morning birds. Okay so here comes a pussy cat. She's been curled up in a bed all night. So let's have a nice morning stretch. So on your hands and knees, everybody. Make sure you've got your hands nice and planted, toes tucked. And we're going to start by curling up our bottom and our head towards the sky. And then push into your front paws and curl it off the other way. Letting your head dangle and tucking your bottom in. So let's try that again, nice and slowly. Bottom and head up towards the sky and back the other way. Imagine you're trying to push your shoulder blades up towards the sky. Let's do that one more time. Tail and head up and push into the ground and the other way. Great. So from here, Let's just level out our back and maybe we could wave good morning with on one of our hands here. That's good. Okay, let's try it the other side. Good morning. Brilliant. Okay, and maybe we can wag our tail. How about that? Can you wag your tail? Good job. Okay, plant that one down. Let's try the other side. Here we go again. Great job. Okay, now here's a little challenge for you. Do you think you could try wagging your tail and waving good morning at the same time? Let's try, shall we? So let's wave good morning first and then with the opposite hand, uh, leg, you can wag your tail. Very good. <laughs> Bringing them both back down. Let's try it again. It might feel different on the other side. And don't worry if you wobble. That's fine. So, let's try it. Bringing up our tail. And our hand this way, Tara. <laughs> Fantastic work, guys. 
plant them both down then and tuck your toes let's bring our bottom all the way back to our heels stretch out those hands all the way forward and plant your head on the ground okay so from here we're going to bring our bottom up make sure our hands are firm tuck your toes and push your bottom all the way up to the sky then we're going to bring our weight back trying to plant our heels down on the ground okay so let's just pedal those legs out for a few times give it a nice stretch down the back of the legs and planting them both Maybe we could wag the tail of our dog, like this. <laughs> Again, you might wobble, but that's perfectly fine. It just shows you're trying. So let's try the other side. Very good. And bringing it back down, let's walk our hands back towards our feet. Okay. So just let your head dangle, nice and loose, and catch hold of your elbows. Give us a nice swing from one side to the other. Okay, release the arms, and nice and slowly we're going to uncurl our spine all the way to the top, bringing your head up last with a nice big shoulder roll. Huh. Good. Okay, now let's take a nice big stride and bring up those arms. Imagine you're soaking up the sunshine and let's take a nice big deep breath. Ah, let it go and again. Ah. One last time. Ah, okay, fantastic. Ooh, what's that sound? Lenny, is that your tummy rumbling? That must mean only one thing. It's breakfast time. So we're going to head to the kitchen now, guys, but we've got to be really, really quiet because look, we've got a little mouse still sleeping. Shh. So we're going to tiptoe down the stairs. Tiptoe, tiptoe. Don't want to wake the mouse. Shh. Feather light steps everybody. Very good. Okay, I think we've reached the kitchen now. Let's see if we can sit down nice and slowly. So take a little bit of a wider stance here and start to just bring your bottom down towards the floor. Maybe you can put your arms out to balance and whee! <laughs> we made it. Okay, so let's take a nice big breakfast bowl and Lenny is going to tell us what he's going to fill it with this morning. So, do you want to tell me what you like to fill your breakfast bowl with, Lenny? Aha, uh -huh. I might have known. You see, Lenny absolutely loves porridge. And there's a very good reason for that. Now, porridge is full of fibre, lots of goodness and lots of energy which helps us do our yoga. And the great thing about porridge, guys, is that you can put whatever you like on top, or you can just have it plain. But me and Lenny really like to put fruit on top of ours. So what kind of fruit do you like, everyone? Fantastic. Well, whatever you like, whether it's bananas, apples, grapes, berries, pears or peaches, whatever you like, let's chop it up. Here we go. Chop, 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 chop. 
and let's throw it all over the top. Okay, now one last little thing that me and Lenny really love, and that is a little squirt of honey. Here we go. That turned out to be quite a big squirt, didn't it, Lenny? Never mind. Okay, so before we eat it, we've got to make sure we give it three big stirs, one way and then the other. So take your big wooden spoon and count with me. Here we go. One, two, three. Great. Don't forget the other way. Here we go. One, two, three. Fantastic. That's looking good, isn't it, Lenny? All right, it's time to fill our tummies, but we're going to scoop it all up. Are you ready? How far can you scoop? Scoop it up. Um, scoop it up. Um, uh, scoop it up. Um, mm, 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 mm. Delicious. Uh-oh, looks like some of you have got some milk on your chin. What's that, Lily? Some of you have got little berries balanced on your nose. We better wash our faces, hadn't we? Here we go. Turn on those taps. Shh. And let's wash our face. Here we go. Swish. Blah, 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 blah. Swish. Blah, blah, blah. Swish. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, that's good. Okay. Now, what have we got to remember to do, Lenny, before we leave the house, after we've had our breakfast? Can you remember? He's forgotten, boys and girls. Maybe you could tell us. What do you have to remember to do after you've had your breakfast and before you leave the house? Here's a little clue. Ting! That's right. Brush your teeth. Here we go then, Lenny. Let's take our toothbrush, get a toothpaste. Are you ready? Let's go. Very good. Let's take a rinse. Fantastic. Let me see those lovely teeth. Oh, gorgeous smiles, everyone. Right. It's nearly time to head out into the adventure garden. But first, we better put our clothes on. So, here we go. Let's take our t-shirt. There we go. Ooh. And some trousers. There they are. Great job. Now then, hmm, what are we forgetting? Any guesses? What do you think, Lenny? Of course, we need some shoes on. So, it might be a bit muddy in the garden. Let's put our boots on today. Here we go. Take hold of your foot and push that boot all the way in. It's a little bit tight. There we go. Oh, oh that's better. Okay, there's one. Let's take our other one. Make sure the laces are untied. Push it all the way to the end. And there we go. Fantastic. Now, it's a long way down to the adventure garden. And when we get there, we have to go right to the bottom to the tree of life. So the best way to get there, we have found, is to cycle. So let's take our helmets, click, and we're ready. So when we cycle in yoga, we do it on our back. Are you ready, Lenny? Are you ready, everyone? Let's start nice and slowly, cycling those legs. Okay, remember it's a bit of a long journey. I hope you're ready, because we're going to get a little bit faster. Can we do it a bit faster? Okay, good job, guys. Great work, Lenny. Okay, oh, careful, guys, we're coming round a bit of a corner. Ooh, don't fall off. 
Okay, and we're level. And we're coming round another corner to the other side. Woo! Oh, fantastic, guys. Now, just one last little bit. We're climbing a hill. It's a little bit slower. Keep pushing. We're nearly at the top. And here's the best bit. We go down the other side of the hill. Whee! And we made it. So, we have reached the tree of life. Now, the tree of life is a very special tree. And it helps us go into our adventure. Isn't that right, Lenny? But we have to do something very special to make it work. Okay, so what we have to do, kneeling like this, we have to come down nice and close to the ground. Then we take our hands together like this and put them down on the ground in front of us. Now, there's a magic sound that we have to make while sitting under the tree to help us get into our adventure. And it sounds like this. Hum. Okay, it's so easy. Okay, now let's try it together. But this time we need to imagine a place that we would like to end up. We don't know where we're going to end up, but we can still wish. But you must make sure your eyes are closed and you take a nice big deep breath. Because the longer our magic sound is, the farther into Adventureland we will go. Are you ready? Here we go. One, two, three. Hum. After three, let's open our eyes and see where we find ourselves today. One, two, three. <gasps> wow, Lenny, look! We're at the beach. Look at all of these beautiful seashells. There's even some starfish. Wow. Can you smell that, Lenny? Mm-mm, the lovely sea air. Let's take three nice, long, deep breaths. Here we go. In. And out. In again. And out. One last time. And let your breath go. Mmm, so nice to be in the sunshine. Hey, Lenny, look there. Wow, look, boys and girls. There's a bottle being washed up. And look, there's something inside. Let's see what it is. Hey, Lenny, it's a secret message. Listen. I'll read it to you. Please help. I am very, very sad. Oh. I can't squeak. I can only blow bubbles and everyone laughs at me. Oh, Lenny, this is terrible. I wonder who is it from? Please, please help. I live ten rows from the beach, under the coral, Next door to Seahorse. Lots of love, Baby Dolphin. <gasps> Baby Dolphin's in trouble. He needs our help, Lenny. Are you going to come and join us, boys and girls? Let's see how we can help him. Now, what was that first instruction? Can you remember? Ten rows from the beach. It's time to go swimming, boys and girls. 
onto our bellies. So, are you ready? Let's kick those legs and those arms. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, we made it. Okay, okay. Now, what was the next one, Lenny? Can you remember? Of course, under the coral. Can you see any coral? There it is. We must be getting close. But look, what's coming our way? A huge family of dolphins. Wow, look how they die. So beautiful. Hey, should we have a go at diving too? All you have to do, get on your knees like this, and we put both hands together, Clasp them and then with our elbows on the floor, toes tucked, we push our bottom up towards the sky. Let your head dangle and give us a nice little sway from side to side. Now, if you like, you can have a bit of fun with this. You can walk those feet in a bit and walk them out a bit, and you could even. <laughs> and if you're really brave, you could do a little jump like that. Okay, so let's bring those knees back straight and nice and slowly all the way back down to the ground. Brilliant diving, everyone. Now then, what about baby dolphin? If we've just seen a group of them, we can't be far away. So what was the last instruction? Does anyone remember? Yes, next door to seahorse. So let's see if we can do our seahorses. So onto your back, like this. Come on, Lenny. And then we cross one leg over the other, like this. And take a nice twist to one side and bring it back to the middle and a nice twist to the other side. Let's do it again. Like a nice seahorse wiggle dance. Here we go. One side and then back to the middle. Give it a wiggle and to the other side. Fantastic. Okay. Now, can anybody see? or hear baby dolphin. Hmm. It's all very quiet. Of course he can't squeak. Let's have a look under this coral. There we go. Ah, oh, hey, I think I see him. Baby dolphin, hi, we've come to help you. Don't be shy. Hi, baby dolphin. Oh, isn't he nice, Lenny? Oh, baby dolphin, it's okay. We're here to help you. We found your note. We heard that you are struggling to squeak. But don't worry, we'll help teach you. What's that? The octopus has been laughing at you. Oh, that nasty octopus. Well, Let's just meet this octopus, shall we? So, can you do an octopus pose like this? Now, sit on your bottom, put your weight back, use your hands to help, and you can kick your legs like this. Now, if you're feeling really brave, you might like to try it with your legs and your hands. <laughs> Imagine you've got four more hands and legs. You can wiggle around just like an octopus. <laughs> now then, octopus, 
How about you use your legs to good use, hey? And instead of laughing at poor baby dolphin, maybe you could tickle him and see if you can make him squeak. Come on then, let's do some more wiggling, guys. See if we can make our baby dolphin squeak. There we go. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Tickle, tickle, tickle. <laughs> oh, great octopus, guys. Wow. Now then, baby dolphin. Let's hear you. Do you think you could do a little squeak? Wow. <laughs> Lenny, did you hear that? Our baby dolphin can squeak. Oh, great job, everybody. Oh, and little baby dolphin's so much happier now. Oh, well, Lenny, it's been a very long day. And we're quite far from home, aren't we? And it's nearly tea time. So we're going to have to say goodbye to baby dolphin. Should we give a wave goodbye, everybody? And you can go and join your family. Bye, baby dolphin. All right, everybody, so it's time to head back to the adventure garden. But to do that, we need to be lying on our backs with our eyes closed, nice and still, so that we can float on the breeze.
gently in your own time you can open your eyes and start to sit back up <laughs> so just before we finish it's really important that we show our gratitude so let's say some thank yous together. So first of all, let's say thank you to the ground for helping us do our yoga. Thank you, ground. Next, let's say thank you to the air for helping us breathe. Thank you, air. Ah. Thank you to ourselves for moving our bodies and taking care of us. Thank you, me. And of course, thank you to Lenny for taking us on our adventures today. Thanks, Lenny. And thank you to all of you for joining us. So finally, let's bring our hands together, place them next to our heart, and we'll say our magic yoga word. And it goes like this. Namaste. And it means my heart is full of love. And with that, I bow to you. Thank you so much, everybody. We hope to see you next time. Have a great week. Bye.